Hi, I'm Goku. Hi, I'm Momo. They are my family and friends. And we are here to teach you idioms. Why aren't you two playing outside? It's a nice sunny day. What's the matter? Is it a bad thing if people read too slow? Not really. Some people process information differently. What about people who's not physically active? Of course, it's not a bad thing. I can't find the time to exercise often. But I can run as well as my friends. And I have to read a sentence multiple times to understand something. You don't have to compare yourself with other people. But Alia can finish a big book in a single day. And Tom can run faster than me. That's because they are different. You can't compare apples to oranges. We are comparing our friends, not fruits. Aren't apples and oranges fruits? They are the same thing. No, comparing apples to oranges is another idiom. <laughs> it means it's not fair to compare two things that are different. For example, apples have a different taste and texture when compared to oranges. Hmm, father is about to go out to the park. Why don't you two go out and play? I've noticed you two aren't your usual cheerful selves. Do you want to talk about it? Tom sprints faster than me. And Alia scored higher in science than I did. You're comparing apples to oranges. They might be good at what they do, but you have your own unique qualities. For example, Tom might be a fast runner, but he tends to be impatient. Meanwhile, your friends told me you are remarkably patient. Don't worry, you perform well in your exams too. Besides, you excel in sports. So you mean it's okay if we can't do the things they can? Of course, everyone has their own strengths. Don't worry, kids. Thanks, Dad.
we should embrace our differences and celebrate what makes each of us special. Remember, it's okay to be different. You don't need to compare apples to oranges. Instead, let's work together to promote diversity, equity, and inclusion to create a better world. Bye-bye!